Hello, Keith Ruck here at VengeMachinery.org. Well guys, this is an exciting day for me because uh, just the other week, this uh, little box right here arrived uh, at my house. And uh, I've been on the road, so I'm just now getting a chance to, to tell you guys about this. But what this is, is a brand spanking new rotary phase converter uh, for my shop. And uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how this all came about in just a bit, but uh, before I do, uh, you know, what is a rotary phase converter? Why would someone need one? So as most people that work around machinery probably know, there's uh, basically two different kinds of motors that are out there. Motors that run on single phase electricity, uh, either 110 or 220 is usually the normal voltage, so 440. Uh, it may have either uh, one hot leg or two hot legs, depending on uh, the, the type of motor. And in the United States, uh, that is typically, single phase is typically the kind of power that you're gonna have coming in to a residential home or someone that has a home shop. So three phase power, uh, as opposed to single phase, you have three hot legs coming in. And uh, those three legs are kind of in, uh, in synchronous to one another such that the, they're 180 degrees apart. And that, you may, that may not make sense, but the nice thing about it is, is this, you, you get, basically you can run a bigger motor on smaller amperage uh, using three phase. Uh, I get a lot of questions. I've talked about three phase before and, and a lot of people, particularly from outside the US, say, well, why don't you just run three phase to your, your uh, shop or to, uh, to your house? Uh, and in other countries, it is pretty normal to have three phase power coming into a residential home. Uh, here in the United States though, typically resident, residential property is only gonna have single phase power available. So, but bottom line is, is that most people in a home shop are gonna be limited to single phase power. And unless you just happen to live on a major road, there's three phase power on the pole and you can convince your power company to hook you up which sometimes that is the, the, the hardest part. Uh, so if you wanna run three phase machinery, like I wanna be able to run in my shop, uh, in a, when you only have single phase coming in, you need to be able to make your own three phase power. And that's where the rotary phase converter comes in. So there's generally two different ways to, to do uh, single phase to three phase conversion. One is with a uh, rotary phase converter uh, which is what I have here, and one is with a variable frequency drive. And var variable frequency drives or VFDs are really popular uh, in the home shop uh, arena. And, and they have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, basically with it, you take, you put single phase into it, you put a jumper on one of the leads so that you're basically feeding it. It converts it from uh, alternating current to direct current and then back to alternating current again. So you, because of that, your three legs don't have to be in sync with one another. Uh, it's gonna actually do that during that conversion process. And it works very well. It's in a very valid way of creating three-phase power. But its limitations are, uh, number one, once you get up over probably a three or four horsepower motor that you're wanting to run a VFD on, the VFDs get real expensive. You know, the smaller size motors, uh, yeah, they're not terrible. Bigger motors, you know, if you want to run seven and a half horsepower motor, 10 horsepower motor, uh, VFDs can get really expensive. Uh, and the other thing is, is that uh, while you could theoretically have one VFD to power multiple machines, in most cases you want to use a VFD on a machine to machine basis. So you'd have to have a VFD converting single phase to three phase on every machine in your shop. Uh, other advantages of a VFD and really why I use VFDs occasionally, I have a few places I use VFDs. Uh, one of the things you can do with VFDs is you can do things, you can, you can regulate the, the, the uh, frequency uh, and be able to do things like speed up and slow down your motor so you can have variable speed, which is where I use one. Now if you need that kind of functionality, a VFD is the way to go. If you're just trying to generate three phase power though, I'm a big fan of the rotary phase converter. And what the rotary phase converter does is basically, um, in very oversimplified terms, it brings in the single phase power on your two legs, uh, like 220 volts in my case. You got two hot wires coming into it. Uh, it basically feeds that into a three phase motor. Uh, and uh, one thing with when you're on single phase, 
on those two leads coming in, it, once you get that motor spinning, it'll spin. Now, it won't run a load, but you can get that motor spinning. But when you do that, when you're turning that motor with the two hot legs, basically the third leg, the missing leg that you're trying to create, your motor becomes a generator and it generates that third leg. So using this method, you can actually generate that third leg, that missing leg, to create three phase from single phase power. And uh, the advantage that I think of this is, is that particularly like in the situation that I have, where I'm gonna probably have in my shop 20, maybe 30 machines that could potentially be running. Uh, and they all are different horsepowers, they all are different sizes. Um, I can run one single converter and uh, be able to generate power for any of those. Now the way I plan on using this is that I'm going to uh, bring my power in, uh, come out of the three phase, I'm actually gonna go to a three phase panel. So it'll be my own uh, 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 circuit breaker box and I will run circuits to different places in the shop. And basically this will be feeding that. And uh, that will give me a lot of flexibility uh, to be able to do things. So this particular phase converter that I got, uh, this is a 40 horsepower unit, uh, which should be plenty of power to supply my entire shop. So I can easily run a single 20 horsepower motor off of this. Uh, typically you uh, wanna have a phase converter that size, the, motor, the generating motor in there needs to be bigger than what you're gonna actually run. Uh, American Rotary uh, suggests doubling the size of that. Now in some cases that may be, uh, a bit more than you need, but that is, you know, particularly if you're gonna be starting a motor under a load, that's, that's a good factor to have, is to double the size of your idler motor from the largest motor you're gonna run. So uh, I've got a 40 horse in here, I can easily run 20 horsepower motors. If I'm running multiple machines, I can probably even exceed that uh, with this unit. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. This unit is built by American Rotary. And the way this came about is uh, when I was out at the Bardsey Summer Bash, at Sands and Cassies in California, uh, American Rotary was there. And I struck up a conversation with Chris, uh, who was there representing American Rotary, was talking about some of my needs. And uh, we worked out an agreement to get this unit right here. And uh, I wanted to share this with you guys and uh, just tell you about it. I haven't got it installed yet. Uh, I've got to do some electrical work and I've uh, been on the road a bunch the last few weeks and I just haven't got that done yet. But we're gonna be getting this wired in pretty soon. I'll probably show a little bit about uh, that whole process once we get to that point, uh, which hopefully will be coming up soon. Uh, now one thing that uh, American Rotary uh, has, is gonna be doing is they're actually gonna be uh, sponsoring my channel uh, from, for at least the next year. And um, how that's gonna help you guys is that if you're in the market for a rotary phase converter, um, you can give American Rotary a call. Uh, you can talk to those guys up there. You can tell them about your situation, about what you're trying to do, and they will work with you to come up with a good solution for your situation. And every situation is a little bit different. And uh, uh, by being a sponsor of my channel, one of the things that they're gonna do is they're gonna give you guys a 10% discount uh, if you tell them that you came uh, to them from vintagemachinery.org. And uh, there is, when you, uh, there's a checkout code, an offer code, when you check out online or when you're talking to them on the phone, that code is VINTAGE10. And VINTAGE10 will give you a 10% discount and that is valid on their AD, ADX and AI series phase converters. And just so you know a little bit about that, their AD is what they call their DigiSmart, uh, it is, Quite honestly, for a lot of home shop situations, that's probably uh, what should be a good choice. Uh, it is an interior uh, grade. Uh, you would have to put it inside the shop. This is an exterior. I can actually put this one on, it's a pad mount. I'll mount it outside. If the rain falls on it, it's watertight, no big deal, uh, which is gonna save me some room in the shop and also cut down on noise, which is one nice thing about this. They also have their ADX, which is very similar to their AD models, but that one is an extreme duty version, so a little bit heavier duty. So if you've got a shop that's, again, want an interior phase converter, uh, but want one that's a little bit more heavy duty, uh, you can go with the ADX series. And then this one is their AI or their industrial series, high performance industrial grade. And again, you can put this one outside on a pad. Um, a lot of these, uh, I know a lot of people in agriculture use these on center pivot irrigation systems where they need three phase power and they don't have three phase power in the field. They actually will set these out in a, 
a, a, a farmer's field next to a, a pivot, center pivot irrigation system. And uh, so these things are very rugged and, and able to stand up to a lot of exterior conditions. So exciting news, uh, if you're looking for one, 10%, that's, uh, that's gonna be a nice discount. So uh, uh, how to get in touch with American Rotary, you can go to their website, AmericanRotary.com, uh, or you can give them a phone. Their phone number is uh, area code 262-402-6400. Uh, and you can probably talk with anybody up there about your needs and uh, they can help you get a phase converter uh, for your particular needs. And uh, if you watch a lot of the YouTube channels, guys, American Rotary has really been helpful to a lot of us, not just me. Uh, they've really helped, been very helpful. They're very supportive of the home shop guys. So a lot of the people that are probably watching my videos also even commercial smaller shops that maybe not own a, in an industrial setting. These are good guys to go talk to and I would highly recommend it. So with that, I uh, wanted to kind of introduce you to this, I'll talk a little bit about the advantages of a rotary phase converter over a variable frequency drive. Again, don't get me wrong, there are times where a VFD is probably the right choice. But I honestly think that in most situations, if you're planning on having more than one three-phase machine in your shop, you really need to look at a rotary phase converter. Um, so, and you can even still use a VFD with rotary phase converter. Um, so, good option. Uh, this is the way I want to go, and I am really pumped about having this big heavy-duty uh, phase converter in my shop, and can't wait to get it wired in uh, so that we can start using this to power some machines. I can run my Monarch lathe with this uh, power, this phase converter with no problems. The one I had really wasn't going to be able to run it. In fact, I can even upgrade that motor that's in there. It's got a 10 horse motor in there now. Originally had a 20 horse. If I can uh, source me a 20 horse motor for it, I can actually put that lathe back to 20 horsepower and I'll have plenty of power in my home shop now to run it. That excites me. Uh, give Ro American Rotary a call if you're looking for a phase converter. Vintage 10, again, that's your checkout code for a 10% discount. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later.